Hey man, I've been waiting for the timing to be right, the weather to be right, the video to be right, the everything to be right, and I, it's just time to make this video for you. So here is what I would do for your pinky finger, and my experience has been that uh, while working with clients that it generally takes about a year to 18 months where you start to see these things change. So let me show you my hand here. Um, so with my finger, you know, when I first came out of surgery, what I got was like this. Like my finger would be just kind of like that. I don't know if the camera's focusing in on this or not, but uh, in any case, my finger would be like this. Now what I can do is bend it into a fist like that. It's not completely into a fist, as you can see. I mean, I can grab it with the other finger and tuck it in. And I don't know that I will ever get back complete range of motion, but what I can tell you is this is way better than it would have been had I not worked with it, right? I've almost got a full fist with my hand. So I'm gonna show you what I would do. What I'm gonna use, because I'm in Bulgaria, I don't have like um, things that I would use. So I found these in a drawer. I figured you probably always have a pair of pruning shears with you. Um, so I'm going to use these, but I'm not going to use them in like a, a vicious way or anything. So uh, I'm going to, the camera's going to get a little wobbly here, but uh, I'm going to just show you what I would do with these. Um, how I would use something like this with your pinky to strengthen that last knuckle so that you'll over time develop the looseness in that tendon and actually get it to slide through the sheath that's inside of your finger. And depending on what they did for the surgery, it sounds like you had a really good surgeon. So probably not a huge deal there, but in any case, um, generally what I have seen in working with people with this kind of thing, with loosening tendons back up, is that it will take anywhere between 12 to 18 months of just like working at it, you know, a few minutes here and there, three to five times a day, um, which is not that hard to do. So what you're going to want to do, all right, so here's your hands. Pretend this is your flat surface that you've got it on and You've got your pruning shears, right? You've always got a pair of pruning shears with you because that's your work, so or at least your hobby. So what I would do is hold down this knuckle with something. You could use a, a ballpoint pen, a, anything, but I would hold it down on the table. And you're just gonna want, and they make, you can see my two fingers, like if I'm trying to move my pinky, I only have just limited amounts. But you wanna hold these knuckles down. Think about isolating just that pinky. You can tell that my fourth finger really wants to tie into my pinky. Why? Because I've spent the most time working with my fourth finger and when I came out of surgery that actually glued hooks to both this finger and this finger. And so I, all of the therapy that I did for several weeks after surgery tied both those fingers together. So the movement, my, my mind always wants to move both fingers. But if I think about it, I can get that pinky just to move by itself. Now my therapy was all on this finger. so. What I did is, and you can see that pinky wants to move with it, but just start moving that one joint and hold down the other joints with something flat. Again, you could use a ballpoint pen, but just something that will hold down your finger flat and then work that joint. So for you, in this case, I would hold this here. Think about working that joint <laughs> without moving the other joints on your hand. It's kind of like you know, like this activity where you learn to do just that or just that, and you can teach your mind to just move certain fingers, right? Same kind of thing where you're teaching your mind to reconnect into those and at the same time what you're actually doing. Strengthening that tendon which was uh, reattached and got damaged in the process. So basically you're rebuilding both uh, nerve connections and also you're rebuilding the physical muscle to do that kind of exercise, to do that kind of movement. The more you can do that, the better off you're going to be. And honestly, I would give yourself uh, anywhere between 12 to 18 months of doing that a couple of times a day, two, three, four times a day, three or four minutes or something like that. That's not a prescription. That's just been my experience in working with people with scar tissue is that it just takes that long for that kind of movement to break up that kind of scarring. Hopefully that makes sense. Sorry, I got some on the ground here. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions on that from your experience when you try it out. But hopefully that's helpful for you. All right. I hope you're having a great day.